Hey guys, I'm Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. In this video, we will be talking about PyENV, which is a simple Python version management. You might be wondering why we need multiple versions of Python. So there are few reasons. One is the compatibility, because different versions of Python can have slightly different syntax or modules or libraries. So you need to make sure that what you are doing is compatible with that particular version of Python. And the next thing is a development. As a developer, you might be developing different projects. And for that different projects, you might need different versions of Python. And the next reason is the legacy code. Let's say that you are working with some legacy code which has specific versions of Python. So you need to install different Python versions in your system. PyENB is the tool which will help you to do exactly that. You can have multiple versions of Python in the same system so that you can switch between different versions easily. There are actually many ways how you can install PyENV. The recommended way and the easiest way is to use the PyENV installer. For installing the PyENV, it says here that this tool is used to install PyENV and friends. This is the most easiest one I would recommend you because when installing PyENV in the system, there might be different dependency errors and so on. I'm using actually Linux for demonstrating in this case. If you have a different machines, you need to follow different instructions. So here it is using call to install the PyENV, right? First thing you need to do now is check in your system if you have call installed or not. If you just type CURL call, then it will show something like call, try call here. That means that the call is already installed in your system. If not, you need to install call first. In Linux, it's quite simple. You can just do sudo apt install call. So it will install the call in your system. I have already installed call as you can see before. So I will not run this command. But one thing you need to remember, sometimes it gives some error. So before running app sudo apt install call, what you might need to do is sudo apt update in your system so that it updates all the different dependencies before that so you are ready to go now we have call install how we can install the pyenb let's go back here and it says call let's copy the command and just paste here this is how you can install pyenv into the system i already have installed pyenv but if you just enter this it says that okay warning cannot proceed with installation kindly remove this already because i already have installed pyenv but for you it will install the PyENV now. And if you want to check if it is installed or not, you can just type PyENV version. It will show you what version of PyENV is installed. Let me first check what version of Python I have in my system. So for that, you can just type Python-V. It will show that, okay, I have Python 3.10.4. Let's say that you want to work in some project which needs Python 3.7.2. That's simple. Like you can just type Python env, you can say install dash v, and you can just provide 3.7.2, and then you can type install. Now it will fetch that particular version of Python in your system. It will take some time. I will come back when this is done. It took some time, but now you can see that it says it installs Python 3.7.2 in that particular folder. Now if I do pyenv, and then if I type versions, now you can see that there are two different versions of Python in my system. One is 3.7.2 and one is system. So the one that we had before, 3.10.4, now that is known as system for this case. Let's say that you want to use that 3.7.2 globally in your system instead of the 3.10. How you can achieve that is pi e and v. There is a command. Let's say, let's first go with the commands that is that we that the PyENV has. So you can see here there are different commands. Out of this, what we can use is PyENV. And if you type global and if you give the name of the version of Python, what we just install is 3.7.2, right? If we again go and see PyENV versions, now 3.7.2 is set by default or globally in our system. So if you install something now, it is going to use Python version 3.7.2. Okay, this is great. But now there is one more thing that is really helpful. 
Now let's say that you create a project. Let me give the name make directory project. I can go inside that project, right? And now let's say that I want to use again 3.10.4 for this particular project. So what you can do now is we, we are inside the project and now you can go and say pi e and v and local is another command we have. I want to use one that particular version of Python only in this project. So if you type system now, we want to use 3.10.4 and if I do pi e and v versions, now you can see that 3.7.2 is now change to system something here that is really interesting before when we had this different when we set it as a global here you can see that it is showing slash home code space dot pi e and v dot version so that is the global version of python but now when i want to use it inside the particular project so it is going to be org space project dot python version so you see the difference there it is now using locally in that particular folder only and if i do ls there is nothing but if i do dash ls lia meaning that if there is some hidden folder or file there dot py python version so let's say what is inside that cat dot python is dot python version you can see there is the system meaning that it is going to use that particular version of python in our case system is 3.10.4 as i said before for this project only so that is that simple and let's say that in in future you might have different projects where you need different versions of python or or you might be working with some code which uses python 3.1 for example then you can quickly switch back between different python versions for that particular project only yeah, this is all I want to show in this video. In the next video, I will show you how you can create virtual environment and use this particular Python versions in it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.